Well, what's up guys? A little bit of everything Southern Homestead. Today we're gonna to be harvesting some of these scallop squash and we're gonna show you how we turn that into a delicious Southern treat. So earlier you saw me, I was on the in-ground garden and I picked this one. This is a beautiful specimen, scallop squash, uh, patty pan squash is what they call it. So we're gonna show y'all how we turn this into a, a pudding cake of sorts using an age-old recipe from Southern Louisiana. Stay tuned. All right, for this recipe, you'll need two quarts of boiled white squash, approximately six large, one and a half cups of sugar, half stick of butter, four egg yolks, reserve the whites for the meringue, one large can of crushed pineapple with liquid, one box of yellow cake, one teaspoon vanilla extract, a half teaspoon cream of tartar, and another one and a half cups of sugar when it comes to the meringue. So the first thing we do is peel the squash. Typically I just cut a circular motion around the flattest portion, just getting all the knob ends off. Then I'll cut off the top, cut off the bottom, shave any excess, and then I'll cube it into four to remove any large seeds. And all you really want to keep is just that thick, meaty, white squash material, no seeds, no skin. So we'll dice the remaining portions of the squash, trying to keep a consistent cube or same similar size. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna ball this squash down until it gets soft and tender and we're able to mash it. So we have our pot full of cube squash. We're gonna go ahead and fill it with water just until we cover the top and then we'll put them on the stove and get them boiling. So while that squash is boiling, we're gonna separate the yolks from the whites of our four eggs, saving the whites for our meringue, and we'll use the yolks here in our cake. When separating the yolks from the whites, you can use an egg separating device like the one I have shown here, or you can simply just use the shell of the egg, transfer the yolk between the two to separate the white from the yolk. It's not a huge deal if you bust the yolk, as long as it doesn't taint the white, you'll be just fine. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then check that squash to see if it's good and tender. Once your squash is tender, go ahead and drain the squash. Once the squash is drained, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and collect all the remnants of the squash that may have gone out into the colander. You're gonna to wanna to smash the squash. And while you're doing this, you can remove any seeds that may have gotten by you during the chopping process. Here we'll add the half stick butter, making sure that it melts completely before we add our sugar. Add one and a half cups of granulated white sugar. Stir until the mixture is completely dissolved and well mixed. Here we'll add the four egg yolks, ensuring that we get as much as the one that busted out of the bowl. Next, we'll add the one can of evaporated milk. The entire can goes in. Then the one large can of crushed pineapple with juice. one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we're going to mix that real well until we achieve one consistent color in the mixture. 
And last but not least, one box of your favorite yellow cake mixture. The entire box goes in. And then you want to stir very well until all ingredients are combined together. Next, we'll pour all the ingredients into a 3 by 19 greased glass dish or baking pan. And we'll cook it at 350 degrees for 70 minutes. We'll stick it on the middle rack and we'll tuck it in for a long bake. Gotta find something to do with ourselves until it's ready. When there's about five minutes left on the cook time, we'll start our meringue. So we'll start with the egg whites that we saved from earlier. We'll do a half a teaspoon cream of tartare. We'll get Momo's blender. We'll mix our egg whites and cream of tartare. And then we'll slowly add in a cup and a half of sugar to make our meringue. You want to whip it until it peaks and then it'll be ready to put on top of the hot squash pudding that you're just about to pull out the oven. It's looking just about right. Let's check a peak. Perfect. All right, so the pudding has finished baking. It's time to remove it from the oven so we can add the meringue on top. Man, look at that wrist action. Return to the oven at 350, or if you choose, you can put it on broil. Cook until meringue is golden brown. After about five minutes or so, remove and let cool. Looks perfect. Once the cake's cooled, go ahead and cut a slice and enjoy with a nice cold glass of milk. Thanks for watching. Till next time, get outside and do something.